Hey there guys, it's Colin. Welcome back to another video on the Recaniac channel. And today I have my newest custom set based off of Retail Row from Fortnite Chapter 1 Season 1. This is going to be the first video in a series that I'm starting where I make a custom set based on a location from each season of Fortnite. So if you have any suggestions for other seasons, then make sure to leave them down below. But anyways, let's just get started. The first figure in this set is Bright Bomber. She has her pink hair and a ponytail, a cocky expression, dual molded arms, and she also has the iconic unicorn and rainbow on her torso, as well as some printed hexagons on the lower half of her torso. Overall, I really love how this figure turned out. The next figure in the set is the default skin Jonesy. There's quite a few default skins in this set because in Chapter 1 Season 1, most people had not purchased a skin yet. His accessory is a tack shotgun and he has a short ruffled blonde hairpiece as well as a smirking expression that was also used for Han and Cedric Diggory. He has some printing on his legs as well as on his right arm which can't be seen right now and just some pockets and different things on his torso. The first build of Bag 1 is a small sidewalk area. It has a bush that uses a very similar build to the one I used for my inflatable in my IO base custom set. If you'd like to check that out, then I'll put a card up above. And it also has a no dancing sign right next to it, which is a staple of the game. You can also make your minifigures emote right next to it, and even though this isn't a position you can actually put minifigs in, I just love the image of a LEGO minifigure doing the default dance. Since LEGO loves to include small vehicle builds in their bigger LEGO sets to bump up the price in pieces, I thought I'd include this small truck build, which is actually really fun and doesn't even have to be used in the context of Fortnite, but it is seen in many locations throughout the game, so I thought it'd be a cool inclusion. I ended up really liking how bag one turned out and it could even stand alone as its own set but the next two bags are even better so make sure to stay tuned for those the first skin of bag two is the nogop skin her accessory is a snowball launcher and her hat hair mold is actually new it is a black ponytail attached to a santa claus hat she has a dual molded arm and a smirking expression and her torso is a Christmas sweater with some fun details, including some llamas and some stripes. Next up is the Wildcat default skin. She has an orange ponytail, some freckles, a smirking expression, a tattoo and bandana that all the other default skins have on their right arm. She has some printing on her legs that are a patch and some straps, as well as a necklace on her torso. I decided to make the build for bag two the tacos shop that has always been in the middle of retail row there are some red umbrellas on the seating areas on the outside and some windows and stripes on the exterior of the build as well as some signs that just say tacos that look exactly like they do in the game and are printed on some two by six transparent tiles the build is fully closed in but you can take a look on the interior from the windows or the door and you can just see some more seating areas and on the side you can see a better look at the exterior seating areas as well as the tacos sign the next skin is the raptor skin which is a fan favorite skin that has been in fortnite since almost day one so i know i had to include it and his accessory is a scoped assault rifle he has the same yellow mask and yellow gloves that he does in the game and he also has a back bling which is just a dark green backpack he also has dual molded gray and black legs next up is the spitfire default skin and he uses the same torso and legs that the jonesy skin used as well as the same tattoo that all the other default skins used just in a darker base color for the piece and he has a goatee as well as a smirking expression like many of the other characters and uses the fin hairpiece in black. The last figure in this set is Ramirez and she has an angry facial expression, another ponytail this time in black and the same 
torso and legs as the wildcat skin as well as the same tattoo and bandana on her arm just in a medium nougat skin color her accessory is a pickaxe the build for the third and probably fourth bag because this is a pretty big build is the retail row grocery store and detective's office you can see that the grocery store is a very open build it has four doorways and above the one on the right is an open sign and then above that little area you can see inside is the seating area with some windows in front of it and some sloped pieces to make it look more like it does in the game with the curves on either side this build is mainly made up of 1x6s 1x4s and 1x2 masonry bricks and on the little side of the grocery store area you can see that much like the taco shop there is some shade area and instead of white and green it is white and light blue so anyways on the other side you can see the detective's office there's not much to the exterior of the detective's office in the game so there isn't much to it here but i did try to make a pretty detailed doorway and i'm very happy with it especially the little triangle piece above it other than that, there's not much to say, so let's get on to the interior. Starting off with the interior of the grocery store, I actually had a lot of fun designing this. You can see that it is tiled off with a checkerboard pattern of light blue and white tiles. Then you can see all the way to the right there's a chest, much like in the game. And although I couldn't include all the freezers and shelves and checkout areas i did include one shelf with some assorted cans and things like that then in the back you could see the little vending machine and it is selling a rocket launcher for 500 wood like they used to do i personally liked the materials trading system better rather than the new gold system that we have now but what do you guys think tell me down below up top is the seating area that i talked about earlier the checkerboard pattern continues up here and the stairs and railing were actually very fun to design in a very interesting shade of blue speaking of blue there are some blue cushion seats as well as two tables that i made using a black candlestick piece and a three by three plate you can also see on the right side is a yellow and black trash can Here's the interior of the other building, the detective office. This gives you a better look at the brown windows, and there's just some brown tiles and a chest on the right side, as well as a black chair on the left side. Not super detailed, but it wasn't super detailed in the game anyways, so I think this is accurate. So here's the box art for this set. I think I'm improving with the box art, but this is still just my third set render, so I hope to get even better than this. Anyways, what did you guys think of this set? This has definitely been my favorite one to design. It took a few weeks, but I definitely think it was worth it. Tell me down below, like I said earlier, what other sets you'd like to see based off of other seasons of Fortnite. I'm definitely doing a Tilted Towers for Season 2, though. If you did end up liking this video, then make sure to leave a like if you haven't already, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. It really does help me out. And with all that out of the way, have a great day, and go build something awesome.